Hi there. Welcome back to my channel iFest Studio. So I'm back with another video in our AWS Android series. So if you recall in our last video, we completed our action item which was uh, designing the recycler view item uh, which will be eventually going inside as a view for our recycler view in uh, for an application. Uh, we completed our layout uh, and we uh, also saw that how does it looks in uh, are inside our home fragment inside this uh, the view which we have created now this was all inside android studio id so now it's time to create the actual uh, adapter uh, for this recycler view and see that how this looks in uh, real devices so let's get started so in order to inflate this in our real devices we need to create an adapter instance for it so let's just go ahead and create a package inside our home package. So I'll be creating a new package called adapter and inside this adapter we'll be creating a class. Uh, let's call it as instance adapter. Okay, so now our class is created now in order to use this as an adapter. So we have to extend this uh, class as recycler view adapter. So for that uh, uh, you just have to follow this uh, colon and uh, add recycler view dot adapter yes and uh, this adapter takes uh, you know, the type of as view holder so for that uh, we will be creating our own custom view holder so for uh, just add recycler view dot view holder for this and add function invocation yes so you might be uh, seeing this red line on this class instance adapter so just uh, hover over it and uh, click alt enter uh, and there you will be getting this uh, implement members uh, pop-up click on it just select all the members which is which android studio is suggesting and hit ok okay now let's understand uh, what does all these overridden methods does so the very first one is on create view holder so recycler view calls this method whenever it needs to create a view holder the methods creates and initialize the view holder and its associated views but one thing to keep in mind is this method only initiates a view holder but does not support uh, supply any kind of data to it so in order to supply the data in order uh, you to see the data inside the view which you have created earlier the instance item there is another overridden method which is own bind view holder so the major purpose of own bind view holder is that that the method fetches the appropriate data whether it's a hard-coded data in the form of list or from the data source such as databases and it fill the view holder layout so whatever instance uh, item that you have created the own bind view holders job is to supply the data and fill the uh, your uh, view with the data from wherever you want to fetch it so this uh, and the last one is get item count so actually uh, as you have created a view holder so view holder is nothing but a container where your view rests so view uh, from where does your view comes from the instance item which you have created earlier so once your view is created it should also know right that how many items or how many view holders it has to uh, actually create in that list so from where uh, will it get it so from uh, so there is another overridden method which which count gets the count of the item so if your data source is uh, like from a database then we need to supply the count of a list or a count of the instances that we have fetched from the database if you are if your data source is just a hard-coded list then you have to supply the count of the items which are present inside the hard-coded list so once it has the count of the item that many view holders will get created that many views will get created and inside that many views according to the position so it automatically position itself inside the recycler view it will supply and fetch uh, it will fetch and uh, supply the data to those views and uh, that's how recycler view works so now let's uh, get into the implementation and start uh, writing code for um, all of these three functions so inside this uh, on create view holder we need to supply the instance of view holder so uh, as we do not have any view holder right now so let's just go ahead and create another class which will be responsible for getting uh, the views so i'll call it as class and let's call it instance view holder and inside this class we'll be uh, providing well 
binding and yes instance item binding and this will be extended as recycle view dot view holder and inside this uh, it actually takes the view so uh, what's a view uh, this is a binding so we'll be taking binding dot root so this completes our uh, structure so now whenever we have to create or uh, whenever recycle view has to create a new view then it will call this class instance of view holder from on create view holder and all the items or item layout which is initialized or uh, created inside this binding will get reflected and it will show it as a form of a list uh, so uh, after this now we have the view holder with us let's just go ahead and uh, create on create view holder so here also <clears throat> we need to create another binding instance and we'll call it item instance binding and we need to inflate this so in order to inflate this it asks uh, from where do you want to uh, in so uh, where the view where you want to inflate it so it will take layout inflator dot from and here we need to provide a context uh, so we don't have a context right now so let's just go ahead and create a variable called context so private var context is equal to type of context yes and we need to do it late in it var yeah and here what we'll do is we already have the parent so context is equal to parent dot context so uh, inside this from again we can supply as context and then we need to provide parent and null as uh, the container type attached to parent as null <coughs> uh, it should false I guess yeah false and after this let's return this instance view holder and inside this it takes okay so this instance view holder takes binding we have given the binding so this completes our instance view hold, uh, on create view holder part now it's time to uh, supply and fetch the data uh, but before this uh, let me mention one thing that we are going to uh, start our uh, room database tutorials in coming lectures But as of now we do not have anything set up So we'll be providing hard-coded list just to see the functionality of this view uh, of this uh, Layout so let's just go ahead and create few list as well And we are cool so this completes our setup uh, for the data fetching uh, now let's see uh, so here our last step is we need to create our sizes so we'll be supplying uh, return instance um, 
ids dot size that's it yes so this uh, this creates our adapter class uh, for this instance now the last thing which we need to do is to provide the layout manager so layout manager is responsible to get the transitions to get the current items inside the lay uh, inside the view recycler view and it tells the recycler view that uh, what's the visible area and uh, for which you need to fetch the data so uh, we need to go back to our home fragment Yes, and we need to create uh, the layout manager for it. So we have this inside on view created. Let us call our recycler view. So binding dot. Okay. Binding. What's the name of this recycler view? We haven't given any ID. instance going back on fragment binding dot recycler view instance dot layout manager is equal to then we'll be creating simple linear layout manager because we want to have all item listed in a listed in vertical fashion so linear layout manager and inside that it takes uh, context I guess yeah so let's call it this required context and we need to provide the type you want it uh, vertical or horizontal so for that linear uh, layout manager dot you can just select any of it whatever fashion you want we are doing it vertically so that's our vertical and the last thing is uh, do you want to have reverse layout or not so means uh, reversing the layout means that last item will come first and first item will come last so we don't want it so that's why let's do it as false so yes and now our last and final step is to attach the adapter to this linear layout manager so for that let's create uh, a variable called adapter and here we need to uh, call the adapter which we created so it's called instance adapter so instance adapter and so this doesn't take any arguments as of now so and we need to supply this to our recycler view. So binding dot recycler view instance dot adapter is equal to adapter. And yes, we are good to go. That's it. So let's just go ahead and see how does this looks in our emulator. So I have this application running on my emulator and it's it's running smooth uh, we are able to get all the details so you can see here uh, we have first instance our instance ids which we created inside our uh, adapter uh, the same ones then we have this instance types uh, different one for different uh, the view holders and we have different this placeholder for details we have these two buttons we have this button so uh, although it's looking good but we know that uh, there are some of the layout changes that we have to create the first one is to make make it as expandable view so let's just go ahead and uh, do those changes and come back and visit and see how this looks uh, in a final glance so <clears throat> coming back now so in order to make it as an expandable view we need to create a logic for that so uh, so how does it works so whenever you click on uh, any of the instance so let's just go back and uh, check so suppose that you will click on this one so you already know the position of the the instance right so along with the list of instance id we will also be providing the list of booleans and uh, inside that list we'll be actually changing that list dynamically so whenever we get the position and one person clicks on it we'll be changing the expandable flag for that list and if it clicks again then we'll again changing the expandable flag so we'll be keep on modifying the list uh, on the basis of the click events that the user will create also we'll be monitoring the changes in the list so that we according to the uh, the list that we are getting we'll be automatically expanding and then again releasing it to the original position so uh, let's just create a variable in very top uh, we'll we can call it as var x 
expandable flags is equal to mutable list of boolean and in here the number of uh, items that we are getting so it's three so we'll be providing false 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 three false so instead of this i think let's just uh, created a uh, create a normal list only so expandable flag is equal to mutable list of mutable list of type boolean and we can just have it like this that's it and inside this once we have this uh, view holder created we'll be actually uh, setting the uh, the items inside that this so for that we can create for for i in zero until list size instance id sort size so we'll be adding expandable flags dot add false so this step will add all the falses inside whenever our uh, view holder will get created so we don't have to actually keep on uh, checking for the sizes so once we have that we actually need to get the position of that expandable flag so for that we can create another variable called expand and uh, from here we will be getting the position of the particular flag and also <clears throat> Uh, we can take the current item um, so current item is equal to instance id start list as position yes and now we need to create the logic for the expandable views so expandable views so logic is very simple so we just need to go back and check that what all uh, elements we need to hide and what all elements should be shown so initially we have these three items uh, which will be in the resting position so this uh, view uh, instance id instance name and this button so uh, and other than that everything will be hidden so and when the view will be expanding everything will be listed back instead of this uh, button so this will go into a uh, hidden position so let's just go back and inside our view and add expandable views Now our expand logic is done but when do we uh, want this to get expanded so for that we need to uh, create a click listener as well so uh, and we'll be uh, uh, listening on so we have choices so let's just listen on the clicking on this view so its name is card view so uh, here holder dot binding dot card view dot set on click listener inside this we need to actually get uh, set the expand the expand variable to the reverse of the uh, actual value inside the list so expand is equal to expandable flags and position on clicking uh, so what val cannot be reassigned okay var and then expandable flags position we need to again assign the current value of the expand that's it and we also need to notify the item changed and we need to just apply the position and we are good to go let's just run it again and see how does it looks cool so now we have everything in uh, the compact fashion whenever I click on this it just expands smoothly with all the animations and transitions 
and you can click it as many times as you can so this is like doing good so with this video we complete our recycler view setup and layout integration and along with this video our first phase also gets completed so just to give you a brief about our phases so i have divided this full course into four uh, phases so first phase included uh, application ui and structure uh, which included project setup ui layout files code base animations and dialogues which we already have worked on and uh, if i have to give a number then we stand at 65 percent of total completion of phase one and now as we require to have uh, this data integrated inside our application to uh, to uh, inflate this data inside this recycle view which we created so we have to start with a phase two which will be related to database and connections so in our coming videos i'm going to start with room databases the operations that we have to perform on room database along with how to dynamically supply the data to the recycle view once a room database gets completed we will be shifting to our third phase which is aws cloud services and integration so in this phase we'll be actually learning the aws services example codes how to do the cloud setup and how to work with apis and once we figure out everything all these three phases our final phase will be uh, the integration and setup with our uh, applications and between these phases we might be tweaking uh, our layouts a little bit adding a few more screens so don't worry about that but just wanted to give you a gist of our course so in total as of now we are resting at 40 percent so congratulations we have almost completed uh, our 40 percent of course now the remaining one uh, is very very technical so i would request you to kindly follow uh, the my future videos so i'll see you in next video with room data database till then peace out